Hey guys, before we start the show, I wanted to see if you've noticed the last few videos, I have not been running commercials. I don't make any ad revenue when I do this, but I feel like you guys are enjoying the videos a lot more and they're less interruptions. If that's the case, all I ask in return is just subscribe and maybe comment below. Really appreciate it, guys. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It's day two out here with the side by side guys. We're going to be going to Silver Lake Dunes. We're uh, last minute fuel up on some of the rigs. We got our stuff cleaned up last night. We're ready to rock and roll. I do see a ton. <laughs> of sand and dirt in the camera. You saw it in the shot though. Thanks, Seuss. Oh no, that was uh, that was Leo. Sick. That was yeah. Leo. God, he just destroyed the camera yesterday out in the mud. But uh, today we're gonna go out to the sand. I don't really know what to expect. They said it's kind of small. It's like on the lake. I guess there's some decent views. Uh, and uh, there's that little uh, low level lake that they have out there. And if it's skippable, I'm gonna try it. I gotta send it. But they're also bringing out the 2JP, the old Jurassic Park, which we've been around it a few times, but I've never uh, been, I've never ridden in it. So I'm really excited to uh, go for a ride in that beast. It's like 1300 horsepower. So that's about it. We're gonna fuel up, get moving, grab some soda pops and uh, see you guys at the dunes. Hey, I'm not like saying 2JP will have any issues today, I'm not going there at all i'm just saying like when you do your first rip can i get the first ride I and mean, it sounds, it sounds I haven't been like, in it yet sounds like you're questioning my ability no to build no i'm not saying time, that but... i'm just saying you know maybe bad weather will come in later like oh, let's get in the ring, that right. ride first yeah. right all right all right all right we can do that <laughs> hey you need help you guys got that Whoa, easy, stuff. buddy. You're the star of my show. You can't get hurt today. <laughs> yeah, star. you're the star of the show. You're the star. I told him, let's get the guy behind the camera all day. Great. That's what people want. Yeah, they want to see you. Leo sucks, dude. There's quite a draw to have you outside of the camera. You know that? Yeah. To have your beautiful light face just yeah. all over Chet World. I've been thinking about getting veneers, dude. You in? Oh, I need veneers because they get worn down. Yes. Let's do it. A twofer. I'm going uh, to hair plugs too. Turkey, you want to? No, I don't want a hair plug because you got to keep doing it. No. Because you're going to keep losing. The hair back here is good though. So yeah, but you have to front. keep doing it okay. because you keep losing the original. You want to get a toupee? I'm down for toupees. I'm down for wigs. Okay. Same thing. It's like a man version. Dude, if I had, dude, if I had a head of hair, unstoppable. Slaying. Yeah. Unstoppable. I mean, look at if I had that. If I had that tail, just. Letting the ladies know, you know? Oh man, I'd have a hold. I probably wouldn't be as cool as I am though. I'd probably be quite the douchebag. Cause I'm not now. I'm not. I'll grab it. <laughs> Gimme. Come on, let's go. Gimme. <laughs> Woo, those are light. Jesus, so three. Why are they burying into the metal? Working hard, not smart. Just keep going. No, you got it, you got it. Oh, thank God they got Uncle Chet here. Ugh. On the pit crew. If you stole it, would you treat it that nice? You guys ready or what? Nah, not really. They do like 15 more promos. Dude, his, his rims are legit. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Call them fish lures <laughs> for the ladies. <laughs> Matt's putting the vibe out, ladies, just so you know. <laughs> I love the front 10 foot flags out here. Real safe. Cool, huh? Yeah. I said, why can't we go rear and go with like a 12 footer? You know what I mean? Is there a compromise here? I'll send you to Lansing, Michigan. You can <laughs> legislate for us. Yeah, I do need to legislate. There's a few things I need to change out here. <laughs> okay, Glamis, they have like beer stands. You just, everywhere you stop, there's beer. Out here, I haven't found one, one beer this entire trip. You ready to do some jumps? Yeah. That's the first thing we're doing. We're finding a hill we're going to send. We're going to send it. Whoa. No. Drive it like you stole it. Drive it like you stole it. Let's go. You see the plate on the Dodge? Hmm? Drive it like you stole it. <laughs> 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 
So they built this insane thing, how, last year? Like completed it? Uh, or two years ago? A year and a half ago. No, it's been two years. Maybe two years. Oh. We've done the dunes twice. Roughly two years. I, yeah, I just was thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I lose track of time. Really know. It's all a blur. So, well, we were just kind of did a quick walkthrough, but I think you can give me a full walkthrough on this piece because my fans probably have never seen it. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, Tell everybody what what it really is. What what did it start so, out to be? Yeah, so it started out as a 2019 Razor Turbo S Velocity, so just a nice four seat uh, Razor Turbo. From there, we did the Jurassic Park theme on it. We turned it into an overlanding machine, did some orienteering type of stuff, and then we got the idea to turn it into a dedicated drag racer. So, right, which is logical. Yeah, what we ended up doing was slamming a uh, 2JZ. Yeah. in it so it's big turbo 2jz power glide transmission or nine inch independent rear end a billet block it's a 3.4 liter stroker 76 millimeter precision turbo what's shocking when we walk around it is is how much is still the original razor yeah, yeah. almost all of the entire original chassis is still there the original suspension obviously with some modifications but right there is a ton of the original machine still here we added in some bracing some truss work to be able to handle all the power and uh it's still a razor and you race it on the drag strip yep so we've been at 814 at like 165 miles an hour so far we haven't got very many runs on it uh it'll go sevens yeah that's cr freaking nuts and you did a burnout contest with this one time yep and I remember, I think I have some film of it where the wheel was breaking loose inside of the tire. And that was what was smoking. <laughs> yeah, I actually bumped the wall and popped the bead and then it was just burning out the wheel in the one tire, but. Yeah, <laughs> it sounded cool, it looked cool. Show, let's show everybody kind of what it looks like back here. Yeah, we can actually pop this door open. Oh, your little service door. Yeah, <laughs> you can see in there a little bit. So it's uh, the first 2J in it that we had, we ended up blowing up. We pushed the crankshaft out of the block. It was a stock block build. Stock so. block, yeah, this is billet. Now. Yes, now yeah. we have an all billet block, 3.4 liter stroker, all run BC internals, real nice build. You ever mess with the two, these two Jay-Z's before this? No, first first time. That's crazy, first yeah, that's time. what I thought was crazy, how you guys just jumped right into one of the best blocks, the best things you can do. And what kind of horsepower do you say it's, it's putting out? It makes, 1300 to 1350 yeah. at the crank so uh it put down 1106 to the wheels the last time we were on the dyno and what kind of boost are you running 35 pounds that's not that crazy it's not that crazy we're out of turbo at this point the oh. engine build will take you know we'll make more power we just slap a bigger turbo on it she'll go but we're still at the stage where we want to get some chassis tuning done get the whole package really dialed in and then we'll add more yeah power. then go power which is smart i mean you guys yeah because then if you start doing too much at once you really don't know what you're doing you don't know if you're chasing this or that or whatever but like right, right now you we were talking about these tires are some of the bigger wider that they make right yeah that's yeah. it so that's a new tire this will be the first time in the sand with that tire today mm -hmm. just uh trying to put the power down i'm super excited like you said yeah big ford nine inch rear end and uh nice parachute out the back just to let people know just in case <laughs> just to let them know in case they didn't get it already uh, but i think uh i can't wait i'm i'm super excited for just to i just want to ride in it i don't necessarily need to drive it but <laughs> i will <laughs> if you if you insist ride in it see how you feel we'll uh i mess with the tune a little bit we're we're gonna hit it the first time with some spice not nice. all the spice but we're gonna yeah. you know make it exciting so, so about 1.70 to 60. i've been one, about 1 1.9 for real with the tesla yep yep so but i know this is going to be a completely different experience so yeah say we load the, up. Uh, if the ground is good we'll put some numbers down today yeah. so let's, let's load up and go out
pretty intense. Probably it's like out of the it ran the. Uh, that was like a. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Whoa. Uh, that's green. That's oil. Is that oil and water? Not good. All right. Well, that was just a little little oil leak there. No big deal. But uh, it's pretty intense. It's like I could feel it. You know, it was like 2.0 and the 0.60, so I could really feel that push. But the it's undescribable just the noise and how violent it gets it's um one of the best feelings i've ever had like the fastest thing i've been in is a plaid is the plaid and uh you know i think i've run a one four sixty foot uh probably sub two uh, zero to sixty especially on the track when it hooks up you just have no sound the sound we all know just adds so much more to the experience and uh you know, the sound of a 2JZ is just insane. So for me, I, it's irreplaceable. If we can get it fixed right now and get the uh, oil line cleaned up or, or reattached, I guess it popped off, uh, they're gonna let me launch it. So that should be pretty freaking crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the last day out here riding. We were over at, uh, what was that, a Saint? Taint Smelling. Taint Wait, Smelling. No, Saint, Saint Helen, sorry. Trails, it was amazing. Well, it was pretty cool. It was, it was all right. I think it's the best trail we have. It was a little, it was really scary, actually. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the hell we're going. I've never ridden like that before. You Super left me scary. Uh, every time. I was oh, by yeah. myself. It's aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you guys would wait for me at the stop sign. No chance of keeping up. <laughs> not for the <laughs> Absolutely faint, not. Not faint of heart. That right. <laughs> no. No. And you really didn't give me good advice on how to ride through the water. That's you, not me, dude. <laughs> I sink forward every time. <laughs> sink or swim situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. So yeah. we definitely swam through the water. Wow. Well, I wouldn't change it for anything. It was, it was really, really cool. So then uh, last night, booked it up here, got a room, got out kind of early. It was before noon. Yeah, so it's nice. We had right. a nice Impressive, long day man. ride. Yeah, yeah. think about it. I feel really bad. I hope I didn't jinx you on the TJP today. Um, was, you did. You it was did, my fault. It was. Yeah, that's never happened before. So, you know. I think it was trying to tell us something because it kept <laughs> popping off the uh, intake and popped another one. <laughs> yeah, was, and then point. it popped the oil line. It was unhappy today. It was unhappy. It's like I'm telling. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. <laughs> All right, here All we right, go. You're done. Three you're strikes done. Are out. Uh, you're done. No, not your fault. That's just race cars for you. You know, we'll get it fixed up. We'll make sure it's right next time. You can rip yeah. that thing, no problem. Man, it was really incredible. Drive it. Gosh darn it. I'm so I sorry. Know. Well, next time. I still get to. I still get to do it another time. Yeah, I mean, you could continue. If, even if you drove it today, like, it's not like you couldn't drive it again later. But you definitely didn't drive it today. I did thing. not drive it at all. But Frick. just going for a ride is really all I, all I wanted. True. And uh, yeah, we we're two seconds, zero to 60. Got the good feeling, got the good sound. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. It's a freaking monster. Mm -hmm. It starts up so just normal. Yep. And then it just screams. But that, that's pretty incredible. And then the last filming and bombing around through the swamp. Super fun. Doing the big hot laps. Like I said, I, I could do that all day for hours. Yep. Especially out here where there was nobody out here. 
It's a special Literally place. Nobody. Man. This is usually packed. Yeah. Lines. There's an overflow a lot too that packs up. So. Yeah. Coppers. Checking you out. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. He's trying to kick us out right now. Right now, he's going to come squirrel us up and get us out of here. We're about to have our shot ruined. You ready for it, Cody? Yeah. Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> We go to the casino now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's, let's go. Get, let's go. Let's go to the casino. And Load it up. Ride home in that Penske truck. Load it, it up, Rick. Fun. Three days later. Well, hello everybody. All right, finally just got back from Michigan. I uh, was quite the grind, man, doing that all by myself. But I did it in 26 hours flat. But now I'm here in Arizona with the great weather, and uh, it's time to, I don't know, unload this. Uh, what are we calling her? Plan B. There she is. Ready to have a shady, sketchy <laughs> exit out of the back of this. So without further ado, let me get this thing out. And then I'm gonna kind of go over uh, what side-by-side -side guys did and uh, how it got to this current state and um, maybe what the future is of this, this beast back here. That's such an <laughs> unnerving feeling. Everybody should try it. <laughs> All right, guys, well, here you have it. We have this uh, 2020 Razor that has found its way home back to me. <laughs> uh, it is uh, duly named Plan B. And in this Plan B, I wanted to set the theme of it as turning something that was uh, terrible and um, really unfortunate for all parties involved and turn it into something really cool and positive and just kind of be that example and let you guys see, you know, it's all a state of mind and how you look at things. And uh, I really think this, this uh, turnaround is really going to be um, a, a turning point for our channel and uh, really helping side by side out and a few other things that we have in the works with them. And I'm really excited. And it's all from this thing getting stolen. And uh, you could look at it in a way that uh, will just tear you down. But I think in, in my life and my f thoughts about everything is as equal as negative something an event can be, it equally can be pushed into the positive sector and uh, turn into something amazing. Um, just as much as it, you can let it tear you down, you can turn it into something incredible. So uh, it's a little overboard, I will admit, give, doing a giveaway with my first merch drop. <laughs> Uh, you know, I just got a lot of faith in you guys. I got a lot of faith in what we're doing that um, it will be worth it, but also just, uh, you know, um, I think it's kind of a cool thing to do for all you guys that follow us and have been uh, loyal to me, especially from the very beginning and give you guys an opportunity to win something with a small, uh, smaller fan base where uh, you actually have a real opportunity to get this. So let me just kind of go over what we have here. We have, so we have some nice pro armor doors. I don't think these are the original ones. They might've thrown on some new ones for me because, uh, or they got them cleaned up maybe. Maybe they just had them repainted. Uh, we threw on a stock cage as well. Uh, the A-arms came off of the brand new 2021 that I have that I was no longer needing, as well as the shocks. We just pulled them directly over and bolted them right on. Um, Obviously, you know, you guys saw the video of me ripping this thing out in uh, Michigan. <sighs> you forget how amazingly capable just a stock suspension, stock setup is in these things now. I know the k are pretty impressive too. Uh, you know, they both blow me away with how incredible they are. But this thing, uh, jumping and just doing everything that I wanted to do without the concern of rolling it over or bottoming out or snapping it in half, I had zero concerns of that. This thing is very, very capable. So in the, my first rollover, if you guys remember, this is a long time ago, I blew the motor up. I think I uh, got a little water in there, uh, definitely came in through the clutch uh, from my ice chest when I rolled over, went right into here and then dumped directly into my clutch uh, and that didn't help it. I also uh, bent a trailing arm and did a few little damages. And that's why I wanted to send this up to uh, the side-by-side -side blog uh, in the first place was, hey, <laughs> I need repair. Uh, I'd rather pay you guys to do it. They agreed. It's uh, not really something they do all the time, but uh, 
they were grateful for me allowing them in my house and having fun with the supercars and getting to know them at the time. And they took this on and it was um, pretty cool. Unfortunately, when it was getting finalized and stickered, is when it got stolen. But after, before that, Rick had, uh, and the guys had already put in a brand new motor. So the motor's brand new. It's got like a stage one tune, I think, on just regular fuel. Um, so it's got a little bit more pickup to it. Uh, we fixed, obviously, the uh, bent A arms and trailing arms and stuff that we had from the original rollover with the factory stuff off of the 2021. Um, I'm gonna leave these tires on there. These are really cool. Uh, these method rims and uh, tire setup is, to me, ideal, perfect for this uh razor you know you never know what you may change whenever new models and stuff come out but uh overall these have been fantastic setups so i don't think you guys are going to change them if whoever wins this is a duner uh we're also going to be throwing in some stock um tires from the original from the new one that we got as well so you have some stock tires from there normal drive tires but what I really wanted to do too is like give um, all you guys out there the opportunity. If there's any sponsors, anybody that is in the manufacturing of parts for these things and wants to jump in with us and uh, throw some of your parts on here. You know, we have some, some friends that we already are thinking of uh, that we're gonna volley it over to them and see if they wanna jump on with us. And, cause I really can't give this thing out completely trash. Now, we do have some scuffs and scratches in the hood and it actually doesn't look terrible. There's, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it looks terrible, <laughs> but it kind of adds a uh, character. But I think if somebody came in and said, hey, we'll put all new plastics on this and this is what we want to do, uh, then we're going to do it. But uh, if not, you know, I'll see if I just want to dig into my own pocket and get and get some, you know, cosmetic things fixed. But definitely a cage, some seats would be nice. Uh, we got to tune up the stereo because it, it used to have a, the top end Rockford Fosgate stereo, but we'll see what the, we can find. Um, if we can put that back in or whatever. It was a great stereo. They, they really had that tuned well. Uh, we never had any light bars or anything like that. So if anybody wants to come in with a nice light bar, uh, the rear view mirror light bars are really nice too. Uh, I can't th really think of anything else. I don't really want to do mods to the engine or crazy stuff like that. But the other, the biggest mod I think I would be cool with if somebody wanted to come in is putting a, a long travel uh, suspension kit on it. I mean, it really, widens these up more and um, makes them even more capable. So I know it's not for everybody because it's more of like you need wider uh, trails, you need, uh, you know, dunes and all that stuff to to really maximize that stuff. But once you get into like little mini trophy trucks now, this is already super amazing, but um, just a whole nother level. So if somebody wants to come in on that, that'd be fantastic, too. But I'll just leave that uh, up to you guys and 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 see what happens over the next 30 days or so. And um, you know, we may not be big enough to get anybody to, that wants to jump in, but I'm sure somebody out there would like to, to help out and uh, we'll do some cross promotions if uh, you want to throw some parts on here. And also guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the, all the following, all the liking, all the commenting. Uh, it's been incredible. I think in the comments of this one, if you could just comment like what you would like to see done to it. Um, nothing, you know, I was joking i said maybe we just go with that blue and then we start chasing that blue and doing highlights all over with the red uh yeah but i, I want to hear what you guys have to say but other than that uh you guys have been incredible and, and our our growth of the channel i think is going to take go to another level this year with our videos and whatnot so i really appreciate you guys so for now i guess that's just another day chilling with chet <laughs>